about secession, Lincoln was in no man's land. Constitution doesn't even re recognize such thing as re rebellion by a state. It recognizes rebellion within a state. And says the federal government may send troops in if requested, if and only if the state requests it. It doesn't say the federal government can decide on its own to send troops into a state. And by the way, that's why Virginia, you know, seceded. First, the seven deep south states seceded over slavery and the absurd suspicion that Lincoln was an abolitionist. He was anything but, and I'll get back to that. But uh, then the other border states were on a knife edge over whether to secede. They really didn't want to secede, but when Lincoln made war on states, that was such a shock to them when he was actually going to invade states without being invited. That was such a shock that four of the border states, including Virginia, now let's see what, Tennessee, North Carolina, and uh, Arkansas, all seceded. Okay, well then when these states were all conquered, what, what was Lincoln supposed to, by the way, he, he said they were trying to conquer the North. Now that's a real hoot. The idea, he said they were trying to destroy the government, destroy the Union. They weren't trying to do that. They were withdrawing from it. When you leave, when you quit a club, you don't destroy the club. The club is still there. When the South left the Union, the Union remained. It was diminished, but it was the same Union. Lincoln said they, they refused to accept the results of, an elect, of his election. No, they did accept those results. That's why they left. <laughs> they didn't say Abe Lincoln is not the legitimate president of the United States. They said Abe Lincoln is the, is, is the legitimate president of the United States. Bye. <laughs> well, after the war, Lincoln faced the problem of reconstruction. He had to install puppet governments that would be pro-union. Now again, this runs up the, that little, against that little annoying obstacle called the U.S. Constitution, which he was trying to save, you know. According to the U.S. Constitution, each state is entitled to a Republican form of government and to set standards for its own voters. So. Lincoln naturally decided he would impose his form of government and he would decide who could vote. Th this is how you have to violate the Constitution just a little bit in order to save it. This is self-government. That's what the North was fighting for. So he told his secretary, John Hay, that I love this formulation, he said, It's necessary to prevent the, quote, disloyal, no, the, it, to prevent the rebellious elements from overwhelming and outvoting the loyal minority. Let's take out a couple of those adjectives and you get this. It's necessary to prevent the majority from outvoting the minority. This is the new democracy he was imposing in the South. See. In most democracies, the minority does lose to the majority. He wanted a democracy where the minority would win. Now that's really getting creative. Well, Lincoln, I don't want to overstay my welcome here. I know you really don't want me to talk all night, but anyway. Uh, Note again, though, Lincoln in the Gettysburg Address said, four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation. Well, this is the language of 19th century nationalism. It was.